Hello, this is data sufficiency lesson two. In this, I will discuss questions on data sufficiency. Now, in DS, each question will be followed by two statement. Statement one and two. As you can see, the question one is what is the value of x? Statement one is x plus three is equal to nine. Statement two is x square is equal to nine. Now, you need to tell which of the following statement is sufficient to answer the question. If you are getting the answer from question statement number one only, not from two, your answer choice would be A. If you are getting the answer from two alone, but not from one, your answer choice will be B. If both statement together are required to answer the question, your answer choice will be C. When each statement alone individually is sufficient to answer the question, your answer choice will be D. And when both statement together are not sufficient to answer the question, your answer choice will be E. Now, what you have to do in all such questions, there are three steps to solve the question. First, you have to check one alone. Check one alone whether this is sufficient to answer the question. Forget the second statement. You have to forget whether the second statement there or not. Second step would be check two alone. Always second statement alone whether this is sufficient to answer the question or not. Forget the first statement. Third step will be applicable in some cases where you are not getting the answer from one alone. You are not getting the answer from two alone. One alone is not sufficient. Two alone is not sufficient. Then only, then only you need to combine one and two. It means that we have to assume that the data given in the both statement is true, and then you need to find out whether both statement together are sufficient to answer the question or not. And that will be applicable only when one alone as well as two alone is not sufficient to answer the question. We will. Uh, you will bet this thing. These things will be better clear to you once we solve the question. So, in every question, you have to check one alone first. Are you getting the answer from two alone, and then one and two combine if there will be a need. Now, one alone uh, x plus three is equal to nine. You will get x is equal to six. Now, what was the question? Question was what is the value of x? I'm getting the value of x as six. I'm getting a unique answer. This statement is sufficient to answer the question. Two alone, x square is equal to nine. X would be plus three or minus three. Both are valid possibility. Minus three is a valid possibility as well as plus three is a valid possibility. When you are getting both uh, two answer, you are not getting a unique answer. It means this that this statement is not sufficient to answer the question. Because I told you in the basics that the statement will be sufficient only when we get a unique answer. Here I'm, I'm getting two answer. Both are valid answer plus three and minus three. So this statement is not sufficient. No need to combine because we will combine only when each statement individual is not sufficient. So answer choice in this case will be we are getting the answer from statement one alone. So answer choice will be A. That will be your final answer. Question two is what is the value of x? First statement says that three x plus y is equal to nine. Now this single statement, uh, we will have multiple values of x and y. You put any values of x, you will get some value of y. When nothing is given, you have to assume that both x and y are real number. If you put x is equal to zero, you will get y is equal to nine. If you put x is equal to one, you will get y is equal to six, and so on. Put some some values of x, you will get some different values of or same value of y. So it means it means that I'm not getting a unique answer for the value of x. So this statement is not sufficient to answer the question. Statement is sufficient only when we get a unique answer. Second statement: nine x plus three y. This is equal to twenty seven. Divide this equation by three. You get three x plus y is equal to nine. Now this statement is same as the statement in the first statement. So again you will get. Multiple values of x and y. This statement is also not sufficient to answer the question. Now we have to combine. In this case, we will combine because one as well as two statement individually is not sufficient to answer the question. Combine this: three x plus y is equal to nine. Nine x plus three y is equal to twenty-seven. Are we able to get the values of x? Unique value of x? No, because this statement, if you divide by three, three x plus y is equal to nine. Both the statement gives the same equation. Statement one was this. Statement two was this. Both the statement gives the same equation, and we still have a single equation. We can't find the unique value of x. 
there will be multiple values of x so we are not getting a unique value of x so this statement even one and two combined is not sufficient to answer the question so what will be our final answer answer choice statement one and two to get together are not sufficient to answer the question so our answer will be option choice e third question is is x greater than 2.7 there will be a question mark first statement says that x is greater than 2.4 now x could be 2.5 this is valid x could be 2.9 x could be 2.6 x could be 30 all possibilities are there now what was our question is x greater than 2.7 in this case answer is no in this case answer is yes in this case answer is no in this case answer is yes now yes and no both are valid possibilities both are valid cases so when yes and no both are valid we are not getting a unique answer this statement is not sufficient it means that yes or no both are coming so this statement is not sufficient statement will be sufficient when we get a unique answer either complete yes or complete no second alone x is greater than 2.9 whenever whenever x is greater than 2.9 so it could be 3 x could be 25 x could be 2.99 what was the question? Question was is x greater than 2.7? Our answer is yes, yes, yes. So we are getting a unique answer yes in all possible cases. Or by common sense you can say that whenever x is greater than 2.9 so it, is, it automatically means that x is greater than 2.7. So this statement is sufficient to answer the question. Now what will be your answer? Statement 2 alone is sufficient to answer the question but 1 alone is not sufficient. So answer choice will be B. Question 4 is, is triangle ABC an equilateral triangle? The statement 1 says that angle A as well as angle C, C is 60 degree. Angle A is 60 degree, angle C is 60 degree. Now we know that in any triangle sum of all the angle is 180 degree. So when two angles are 60, 60 that is 120 total. So this angle B will also be 60 degree. So that the sum is 180 degree. Now we know, you can see that all the angles in this triangle are 60 degrees so this is definitely equilateral, equilateral triangle this is definitely equilateral triangle now what was the question is triangle ABC equilateral yes we know that in equilateral triangles all the angles are 60 degree each so is this statement sufficient to answer the question yes because I am getting unique answer yes this statement is sufficient to answer the question second alone we have to forget the first statement B is 60 degree angle B is 60 degree now A plus C must be how much A plus C should be how much this is must be 120 degree when angle B is 60 degree A plus C must be 120 degree because in a triangle sum of all the three angles is 180 degree now it could be 50 70 it could be 70 50 it could be 60 60 and there will be so many cases now what was the question is triangle ABC equilateral triangle in this case answer is no in this case answer is no in this case answer is yes so yes and no both are a valid possibilities there will be so many cases uh, uh, in this there will be no there will be one case in this it, the answer will be yes so yes or no both are valid so not getting a unique answer this statement is not sufficient no need to combine because we will combine only when each statement individually is not sufficient here one is sufficient so what will be your answer statement one alone is sufficient to answer the question two alone is not sufficient so answer choice will be A. Next question is what is the area of rectangle? The length is given to you. We know that area of rectangle is L into B. Length into breadth. The first statement says that if we need to calculate the area L into B. The length is given to us is 20 cm. But we don't have breadth that is B. So we can't calculate the area. This statement is not sufficient to answer the question. We Because uh, B could be any number 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we are we will not get a unique answer there will be infinite possibilities of breadth so this statement is not sufficient to answer the question second statement area is l into b that is what we need to calculate can we calculate from second statement second statement says that b is equal to 10 centimeter now b is 10 l could be anything more than 10 so we won't get a unique answer this statement is also not sufficient to answer the question l could be 11 12 13 14 because in rectangle L is always greater than equals to B. So L, L have infinite possibilities. 
so there will be infinite possible triangles we won't get a unique area now we will combine that is the way to combine when one alone as well as two alone is not sufficient to answer the question combine area is l into b l you know that is 20 centimeter b is is 10 centimeter from second whenever we combine we assume both the given statement true we i am assuming that one as well as two is true so l is 20 b is 10 area we can calculate no need to calculate this statement is sufficient because when we know length when we when we know breadth we can always calculate the area so this statement is sufficient to answer the question area will be unique that is 200 square centimeter and unique value of area i'm getting so this statement uh, one and two together is sufficient to answer the question so what will be my final answer that is c both statement together are sufficient but neither statement alone is sufficient so answer choice will be c question 6 is what is the area of rectangle whose perimeter is 60 we know that perimeter of rectangle is twice of l plus b this is given to us as 60 so l plus b would be how much this would be 30 centimeter now one alone says that we need to find the area that is l into b area of rectangle the first statement says that length is 20 centimeter now we know that l plus b is equals to 30 centimeter so whenever l is 20 b would be how much 10 centimeter so that l plus b is 30 now we have l we have b we can get a unique answer for area no need to calculate this statement is sufficient to answer the question second statement area is l into b the second statement says that b is 10 centimeter we know that l plus b is 30 centimeter because perimeter is given to us 60 l plus b is 30 so when b is 30 l would be 20 centimeter again we have l and b we can get the area unique answer this statement is sufficient now each statement alone is sufficient to answer the question so our answer choice will be choice number d so in this way you can solve the question these are the very easy or basic questions on ds in the next lesson i will continue with more questions on ds